In this really quick right on side Revit example, I'm going to use a grasshopper definition from the forum to create direct shape Revit elements. Uh, let's run through this real quick. Uh, they created a, a plane, uh, divided the plane by 120, which they were able to interpolate uh, a curve, which they then split by this sine wave. Uh, this is the graph mapper, which you're going to use to control the, the different uh, the waves. They set the graph type to a sine summation, or this one's just a sine. And you'll see if we enable our preview that as we move things up and down, you can control how the how far this sticks out, how big the waves are. Uh, currently, I'm using a boundary surf created by the curves to get a really quick preview and really responsive uh, design parameter change. Uh, when we pump this into Revit, uh, I'm going to do so by enabling the extrude, which is then going to go into our direct shape, which I also have previewed uh, with the same colors. So we'll do that. Just enable the extrusion. If I hide the geometry, you can get our nice colored preview uh, by the mesh preview. If we were to disable this, make a change over here, go back, re-enable, Rehide. We'll see we've had our changes. So have some fun with that. If you have any questions, just reach out on the forum. I think I'll show a, a couple different ways of doing this where we can use Rhino points or Rhino curves instead of the graph mapper to have a little more control over the facade. Uh, Maybe we'll even do one where we're using a family instead of the direct shapes. So feel free to ask questions, comments, or check out HS Kim's original, uh, original definition on the forum. Thanks a bunch.